If it please the court, I would now like to introduce into evidence this tape cassette. Your Honor, objection. Mr. Carr has not yet even proved the relevance of the previous exhibit. Must we have more mysterious objects cluttering up these proceedings? Mr. Murdoch has a point, Mr. Carr. Your Honor, Mr. Murdoch, of course, has already been informed of the existence of this tape cassette. Uh, it uh, would only uh, be mysterious to the court if he continues delaying the proceedings. Mr. Carr, I'll direct traffic in this court. Thank you.
Switch off when you hang up. No, it works the same as a regular answering machine. It keeps according until the caller hangs up. And that's the only way the equipment will shut itself off? Well, no, the engineer can shut it down too, but we usually leave it running until the caller's finished. I see. Your Honor, I can produce expert witnesses who will testify that the voice heard on that tape is that of the victim. Your Logan Honor, Smith. objection. It is not up to Mr. Carr to tell the court what the testimony of his witnesses will be. He had ample opportunity for that in his opening statement. Sustained. Do you wish to continue direct examination, Mr. Carr? With the court's permission. However, uh, before I continue with this witness, I would like to direct the court's attention back to this tape recording. Objection! Your Honor, nobody has testified as to the authenticity of this tape or identified the voice of the speaker we just heard. Now, another playing of this tape would be irrelevant and inflammatory. Once is enough. Mr. the court, please. We have not heard the tape once. What's that, Mr. Carr? There is more on this tape. 